Song Mingyi from ATs. Song Mingyi from ATs. Please come to the front of a classroom. Can a man both be a chick and a wolf? The debate is out there. Let's talk about it. Song Mingyi from ATs causes some serious whiplash. Whoopsh. I really should just have sound effects, but I don't. You know what? I do actually. I can add them in editing. Whiplash noise, please. All right. That that sounded actually pretty good. Can I have that with skin? I can't. Okay, so let's do this thirsty deep dive with this towering figure. We're gonna cover his baby girlism, his stage presence, and most importantly, his fan call service because it's off the charts. Sir's always doing too darn much. Let's get into it. The baby girlism from Mr. Song Mingi. He's over six feet. Is there a baby girl in there? I always thought that Ooyoung was the only baby girl in ATs, but I was wrong. I thought to myself, is there a baby girl line? And if so, who is in it? Song Wa, no, no. Yo Song, Ooyoung, and Mingi. Mingi will be the biggest of all of them, which is totally fine with me, but Mingi is baby girling all over the place and he wants that special treatment and we're definitely here for that special treatment for him. He's in his soft life era and we all really need to respect his authenticity. When Sir wants the attention all on him, all focused, all fixed on him, give it to him. Give that man what he wants. I'm sick and tired of this man begging for our affection and attention. How do we know that Mingi is in the baby girl era? His friend, Mr. Jung, you know of ATs on Mingi's birthday, previous birthday, you know gifted his baby BFF with a princess set. And Mingi was like, oh my god, thank you. How did you know? You know, it's like, you're my princess. I was like, oh, I'm jealous. Like, I don't need to be seeing this. I'm kicking my little feet. Like, what is even happening here? Mingi had like a tiara, the little scepter, little princess wand. I don't know what it's called. It's probably all broken now in his dorm, actually. But the point is, is that Yuno knew that his friend needed some sort of special gift to really highlight his princessness. And Yuno doesn't disappoint. Yuno seems like the guy who's really going to pay attention to what you want and deliver on that. And he did that for his friend. You know, they're friends and they don't take things too over seriously. Like, like, these are two large men, okay? They're very, very tall. They're giving, well, Yuno is gifting his friend a princess gift. How secure are these men in their masculinity or manliness or whatever it is? How secure are these men to accept princess gifts from each other? I love it. I love this for them. It just shows how close and brotherly they are and that they don't take things too seriously or their or their selves seriously for that matter. They just want to have fun. They just want to express their, their friendliness towards each other. And I think that's super duper cute. Now, what's so great about this phone call is you can hear Yuno like, just cooing over his BFF. Like, I really enjoy the Yoongi dynamic. It's just something that I think a lot of us want to have with our friends. It's just like, just a good time. Like, no bad vibes. We just honestly want, it's gonna sound so cliche, but good vibes with your friends, like no animosity. It's it's no good having a frenemy. And these guys are traveling all over the world with each other. Theoretically, they are coworkers. So it's great to be able to get along with your coworkers and to have this brotherly bond that they all seem to have. At least that's what we see on the camera. So just seeing that you know is just leaning into the baby girlism with Mingi is just something really, really special. So Princess Mingi, there's no further need to go deep diving anymore. Give Sir his crown, give Sir his flowers. He's in his pink era. And I don't want anyone talking smack about it. Now to the stage presence. Oh, I saw ATs back in 2022 in Chicago and I went to the concert. My list was intact. I was like, I know what I like. I like Demon Line. Rawr. When I left, I was in shambles. I was wrecked the fuck up. I was like, I don't know. I don't know. Like Mingi was on that stage growling and prowling and just commanding your attention. He was yelling at Ateeny, like in a good way. He was making us bark. Arf, arf, arf. Like, I didn't sound like that. But he commanded our attention and we gave it to him without any sort of a fight or anything like that. We're like, take it, take it, sir. We're giving it to you hardcore. And he was like, I like this. He didn't say that. But in my mind, that's how he was. He was like, yes, I love this. Thank you, Chicago. Thank you for giving me the love that I deserve. I leave out of there. The ride home in my, in my Uber was silent. Silent night. Like, I didn't know to think I was like oh my god <gasps> I was wrecked that's what this felt like I got wrecked I didn't understand the terminology before because I just really got into k-pop but I understood then I understood then so I was like all right demon line plus Mingi mm -mm, no Mingi knocked Hongjun out of the way Mingi swooped into number three I know you're shocked you're like Chris how could you how could you be that how could you be so duplicitous I don't know he did this once he made me bark arf, arf, I was done I was like I'm sad I'm sad I'm so sad him on the stage is just pure confidence and you need confidence to obviously be a k-pop idol to perform at the level that he's performing when he performs all eyes are on him. All attention is on him. This sir has charisma. Another thing that we're not going to escape, mm -mm, because this is what really pulled me in with him. The blue velvet pants. Mic drop. Can I have like a mic drop noise? 
close enough. This man in those blue pants, say my name, say my name. When he did that move, like the shopping cart or whatever it's called, he was pushing that that bread basket across the stage and you could see the, the dump truck just highlighted and just hugged in all the right places. The thighs, his thick ass tree trunk thighs. Them pants were gripping that man. <sighs> Breathe, it's okay, it's okay. Say no more. Say no more. Cut the cameras. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Blue velvet pants. Blue velvet pants. Enough said. This man has confidence for days and I love it. I love it. It cannot be disputed. It cannot be disputed. This moves us on to fan call service. I don't know if you've seen Mingi's fan calls. Go on TikTok. Go on Twitter. Go on Facebook. Go anywhere on the internet to find these fan calls. This man is flirting. This man is taunting. This man is winking. He's biting his lip. He's flicking out his tongue. He's saying, come to Korea. You look beautiful. You're prettier than me. Sir, you're about to get stalked. Like, stop. 18 you're gonna be like, I have my passport. I have all of my shots. You're telling me to come over. Sir, pony up. Where is the money? I'm ready. Let me actually find the tickets for you. Just send me, just Venmo me the money. Song Mingyi. Stop it. Stop flirting with them. Stop flirting with a teeny. It's not okay. And you are out of control. I think actually he's playing with the idea of fan service and he's having a lot of fun. Unfortunately, this does cause a lot of Delulu and you can see on these people's accounts, some of them, they think like they have a full on relationship like parasocially with Mingi because they have talked to him and he has flirted with them and he's, you know, giving them compliments and stuff. And so now these people are super gassed up as they should be. But y'all, you are not dating Mr. Song Mingi. He is, he's at work. You basically paid for this phone call. I wish, hear me, I wish that you could pay for phone calls with him, even if it's like two minutes. Two minutes for like a hundred dollars, I probably would do it. Honestly, I think that they should do it. I think they would make so much more money if they did that, but I understand that buying albums is much more lucrative, but if y'all could just let us buy these phone calls, we would be so much appreciative. Like, please, please. Another great thing about Mingi is his lives on Talk Talk. They do have access to them through a pay app. You can't really have one-on-one conversations with them but you can see them do live streams whenever they go live on this app i am subscribed to demon line they got me they got me and i know you're like chris do you have mingi do you have mingi no not yet i don't have mingi because he doesn't go go live as much as i want but in the past several days as to when you're listening to this he has been going live literally whatever yesterday's date was i think like march 19th or something he was in bed in his pajamas just singing sing it to us I was like, should I sign up? Because this man is like pushing me towards it. But that's neither here nor there. I think with ATs, they're trying to move into like the boyfriend POV. And if they are, just stop. Just stop. I don't need the stress. I don't need to be kicking my feet at all times of night. Just thinking about you guys. Like before I go to bed, like you don't need to go live, sir. Like, can you wait? Can you wait till I wake up? The time difference is just so crazy. Like if I'm going to sleep at 10 o'clock, they're waking up. It's like afternoon there, early afternoon by the time they go live, if they go live at night. And I prefer for them just to go live in the morning, like when I wake up at eight, because it's like late for them. But whatever, whatever they're trying to do with this, this boyfriend POV situation, I'm here for it. I think the content is very interesting as far as their marketing is concerned. And I am just 100% for it. Like, 100%. If you can get their talk talk or their from, which is a, a messaging app, do it. It's really fun to interact with them. You're not interacting with them one on one, okay, unfortunately, but just to be on that other side with them to have like sort of more direct access to them as far as communication is concerned, go for it. I 100% approve of this message. All right, so we covered a lot in this broadcast about Mr. Mingi. We covered his stage presence, we covered his baby girlism, and we covered his fan call behavior. What else can we cover about him? Or what else could we uncover about him? Wow. I, <laughs> why did I do that? Sometimes I think to myself, why did I do that? The one thing I do want to cover of ATs on here is their performances when they are doing like their dance practices. Some of the styling choices that they choose. And I'm going to talk about Mingi specifically because this is his broadcast. The gray sweatpants. Them hoochie daddy pants. Baby, do not wear those. It's inappropriate. I mean, but if you are going to wear them, just just keep keep wearing them. If you see him wearing them, don't say anything. Do not say anything. Just smile and wave and appreciate the view. Mingi is getting stronger and stronger every single day. We need to fix on to reality we need to fix on to Delulu and we need to fix on to Hope. ATs is not letting up anytime soon. We are forever going to be in a chokehold. And if you want to get further into the chokehold, you can join me in the Discord or Patreon. Link is down below. There's fan fix, there's daily polls. I'm pretty active in there and I cannot wait to see you there. I can't wait to do the next broadcast, babe. I'm going to see you soon. Good night. Leave a comment, like, comment, share. Do whatever you got to do. Get your Delulu out. Share it with me. Okay, bye, babe.